What up, YouTube? Black Bigelow, male gigolo. Today, we're in Akron, Ohio, and we're gonna do a review at this place. It's called Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips. I was reading in my comment section, Bonsai Buddy said this place is pretty good. Now, I don't know who that weirdo is over there, but we're gonna just walk right past him. I'm gonna take a break from my supposed diet. And we're going to go walk inside. Don't look at my body, please. And uh, we're going to get ourselves some Arthur's, or Arthur, treasures. Okay, very good. This, uh, this looks inviting. All right, they got the uh, screen protectors to uh, block any spittle that I might have. So let's get some food. So I got his name wrong earlier in the video. His name is actually Arthur Treacher, and this was a real guy. He was an English actor. He normally played like butlers and servants. He played like that stuffy British type of, uh, you know, butler characters in movies uh, from the 20s through the 60s. And he uh, lent his name and likeness to a chain of fish and chips places in and around Ohio or at least this part of Ohio and slowly but surely they all started closing up shop so that is the last Arthur Treacher's uh, in Ohio so we're gonna review their food today so today uh, I bought basically what did I get all right so I got an order of fish and chips how about this for the thumbnail this this is gonna be a good thumbnail I want to I want to have Scarlett make it how about this one And then we'll have like Arthur Treacher right there his head or whatever. So anyway, so I ordered uh, two piece fish and chips. I ordered three hush puppies and I ordered um, three shrimp for $2.49. So this food came out to about $12, but it doesn't matter. I didn't pay for it. You did. <laughs> God, I got to shave. All right. Let's just uh, let's just do this review. Okay. Uh This is already better than Long John Silver's because it's not that greasy. Yeah. That's good. No, oh, shut up. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to spit it up. <laughs> Dude, Long John Silver's is so fucking greasy. All right, let me take a French fry. Are they still good? You know, one day I would love to hear like a motorcycle revving his engine and then a horrible crash. French fries are good. All right, so let's try the hush puppy. Yeah, so it's good. I know you guys are gonna be like, you're probably gonna give it a seven. I know I am. Okay. Wash it down. By the way, in case some of you uh, asswipes out there are wondering, why don't you re why don't you answer my text messages? Did you hear that little? Doo -doo 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 -doo? I turn my phone off because then you guys bother me when I make videos. I didn't mean to call you an asswipe, but some sometimes you guys fucking piss me off. All right. Uh, is this the, oh, that's the hush puppy. Is, it, what is, is this the shrimp? Okay, here's the shrimp. So three of these were $2.49, right? All right, so let's... Yeah. I eat the tails, I don't care. All right, so listen. So that's good. Their fish and chips aren't super greasy like Long John Silver's. More like Long Don Silver's. <laughs> I give this, from a 1 to 10 using the Dorsey Decimal System, I give this a 7 point, 7.1. Yeah, it's good. 
I mean, I'm not a huge fan of fish and chips, but it's good. It's not that greasy. So if you're in the area, Akron, Ohio, Arthur Treacher's, stop by and get some fish and chips. It ain't nearly as greasy as Long Dong Silver's, and uh, it's pretty good. So, all right, guys, that was my review, and I'm sticking to it. I'll catch up with you later. Have a good one. Peace out.